And again, looking at camera, please. This is a big announcement for our game. It demonstrates the ambition we have. At APL, when we took control back in January of last year, we said we were going to make bold, brave decisions, and this is another one of those. We want to make sure that our, our A-League Grand Finals are up there with the biggest major events in the country. So this goes a long way to realising those ambitions. And we want to build traditions for our fans. We want to build an event that can be in everyone's calendars every year at the same time, at the same place. We look at England, look at football. Wembley, the, the uh, road to Wembley is something that is part of their sporting culture. Now A-Leagues has the road to Sydney. But ultimately for us, this is about ensuring that it is a genuine event, that we've got the ability to put on football events all week that give every person around the country who's a football fan a reason to be in Sydney for the first week of June. So it's a really important time for football. We're really excited about making the most of these plans and also making future history. So thank you all for your support. New South Wales wants to hold all of the premier sporting events on Australian soil and there's no doubt that the A-League Grand Final is a premier sporting event. We are so proud to announce today that we will hold six Grand Finals here in New South Wales. Three men's A-League Grand Finals, three women's A-League Grand Finals. Um, it's incredibly appropriate that New South Wales hold these events because we are the football powerhouse of Australia. We have more A-League teams, uh, we have more registered players, and we have the largest fan base in the whole of the nation right here in New South Wales. Football fans will be rejoicing that they will have an unparalleled opportunity to see our best players in the A-League right here in New South Wales. Um, this is incredibly great for football. Uh, the Socceroos have done us proud in the World Cup. We're going to have the uh, FIFA Women's World Cup here in New South Wales next year. So why not have six A-League Grand Finals as well? Starting from next year, three years worth of A-League men's and women's Grand Finals right here in Sydney. And that's not a surprise because we've now got three of the best stadiums anywhere, not only in the country, but I think in the Southern Hemisphere. We know that next year is going to be incredibly exciting, but just think of the calendar we've now got. In April, we've got the women's final. In June, we've got the men's final. And then in July and August, we've got the, the FIFA Women's World Championship. It could not be a more exciting time for football fans in Australia. We estimate that by having these three finals in Australia uh, for both men's and women's over the next three years, that will inject $26 million into the New South Wales visitor economy. An extraordinary uh, outcome and a great benefit to all of the providers who are, who are associated. 